watching West Hartford Community Television. You're watching West Hartford Community Television. You're watching West Hartford Community Television. For the community, by the community. Hi, this is Princess Bola Adilani, the Total Success Coach, welcoming you to Inspired Success, your monthly dose of inspiration power, the program that equips you with the power and inspiration for total success. That is success at work and in life. Thank you so much for tuning in. I want to begin the, today's broadcast by just extending special thanks. You know, I've just been getting a lot of phenomenal feedback from you, my viewing audience. And so a special thank you to all of you who've taken the extra time to send me emails, you know, call me, you know, phone calls, text me, you know, and just, you know, st um, stop me um, when I'm around town just to say how much this broadcast has really been inspiring you. I want to say thank you so much, and I want to um, encourage you to please keep those uh, feedback co coming. I really do appreciate them. And so we're back on Inspire Success, and we're back to the Money Power Series. The Money Power Series is my signature training program. It teaches the spiritual dimension of financial success. Like I always say, there is more to making money than meets the eye. F financial success is not just a function of sound financial planning and hard work. Like our present economic meltdown proves, you know, there is, there is more to making money. A lot of intangible factors, factors that I call spiritual factors, go, um, you know, impact um, our financial success timing, our beliefs, you know, our connections, ideas, visions, and things like that. They, they, they go a long way in um, impacting financial success. And this is what the Money Power program really teaches. Uh, we've been looking at this, um, this series for the last, I would say, like four months. And, um, you know, like I said, the, the feedback has been really very encouraging. There have been some phenomenal um, information that has been passed um, across. Um, you know, we started with the connections principle and we followed it to with the um, seed principle. And last month we looked at the visualization principle. I don't want you to forget if you have never, you haven't had the privilege of watching any of the broadcasts. I don't want you to forget that it is available on demand. Video on demand is available 24 seven at your convenience. If you log on to my website, www.royalproclamations.com, there's a link there to the video on demand page where you can view the broadcast um, at any time. Um, so today we are continuing, like I said, with money power, and we're looking at another principle. This time we're looking at the affirmation principle. Affirmation principle, and my question to you is what have you been saying about your future? What have you been saying about your success? What have you been saying about you? That is the question. But before we answer that question, we are going to, first of all, try and understand where our words come from. Where do we speak from? What is the source of the words um, that we speak? And um, the answer to that is this scriptural saying. Out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaketh. I'll take that again. Out of the abundance of the heart, 
the mouth speaketh. That means I will speak from what is in our mouth, in our, in our heart. I beg your pardon. We speak from what is in our heart, what is in our spirit, what is in our minds. Our words come from our thoughts, from our minds, from our heart, from our spirit. And so, you know, when, when, when we get those, those words into our, into our hearts and into our mind, and then we start thinking that, we start thinking th those thoughts, and that, those thoughts is what drives our behavior. And so we start acting in a certain way. You know, our, our thoughts is what influences our behavior, and it also influences ultimately our success. And so I want us to really kind of understand that fact that our, our mind, therefore, is one of the most powerful tools that exist and powerful organs that exist in us. You know, it's like a bit, a bit like a computer. The, the, the mind is like the hard drive of the computer. If that hard drive is faulty, then you know that, that the functioning of the entire computer is going to be faulty. And so that, that's how powerful really our mind is. You know, even though uh, today's broadcast is not focused on the power of the mind, the power of our thoughts and the power of our beliefs, but, um, and that's going to be um, the, 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 um, our focus next month when we're talking about the belief principle. But I want us to understand the fact that our words, our words is where uh, the words we speak come from the words that we hear, okay? So that's the, that, that what produces the words we speak, the word that we speak from our heart, you know, is what is, is we, have, we feed our hearts and our spirit with, which is words, spoken words. 85% of what ends up making up our thoughts, it comes from the words that have been spoken to us, okay? We are all a product of the words that have been spoken to us. And these words that have been spoken to us may be words that our teachers have spoken to us. It may be what our parents have spoken to us. It may be words our friends have spoken to us, you know. It may be what that, you know, society, our community, you know, have spoken to us. At the end of the day, you know, faith cometh by hearing. And we hear by the word, you know, we keep hearing. What we hear is what produces our faith, is what produces our beliefs, is what produces our thoughts, is what produces our outlook and our attitude. And eventually that is what drives our, our character. And that is eventually what drives our actions. So, you know, this is how the, the, um, the words, spoken words operate. You know, so people speak certain things to us. We hear certain things about ourselves and we take those, those things that we have heard and we believe them. We take them as facts. So somebody has been saying to you, maybe right from childhood, because some of these words have been ingrained in our subconscious over time, you know, and eventually we become those things. So maybe you've been told from, you know, your, from your childhood, oh, you're too fat, you're too skinny, you're too this, you're too that, you know, or you can't do that. Oh, or no, you cannot, you know. And so those words that have been spoken to you have now, are now words that you've come to engrave, have been ingrained in your subconscious. You've come to believe and have, are the very words that are now limiting, limiting you. So, you know, I'm basically trying to make you understand how powerful words are, spoken words. Now, many of us are not privileged to have people in our lives who speak positively to us. Okay, like I said, many of us have been actually, we have been wired and we have been spoken to and we have, our mind have been, um, you know, kind of um, um, engineered to think more negatively, to think more about what we cannot do or what we are not, you know, and that has happened over the years. And so you don't have that privilege of having somebody speaking positively into your life, somebody who is encouraging you and motivating you and cheering you on. You know, many of us don't have that privilege, you know, 
And many of us cannot have, afford to hire, you know, maybe a, a motivational coach or, or, you know, many of us can't, you know, at these days we can't bring a motivational speaker to our workplace, you know. Um, and so there we are being um, surrounded by all this negativity. When we turn on the television, it's all negative, you know, all the news is bad news. It's about what is not happening, you know, about, um, about how the future is so bleak, you know. Everything that we seem to be hearing and that we're surrounded by is all negative and limited. And so the way that you take control of that is, you know, is for you to, to not give your power over to somebody else and look for somebody else to affirm or validate you you know, is for you to actually take charge of your life and your destiny and begin to speak positively to yourself, okay? So you be the voice, you be the positive voice that you're looking for. And that is what the affirmation principle is all about. And that is how, and, and that brings us back to the question that I posed originally. What have you been saying about you what have you been saying about your success? What have you been saying about your future? Many of us have been so, um, I, I'm not looking, I, I don't want to use that word because it's not a good word. You know, it's like we've been programmed is the word I'm looking for. We've been programmed to believe negative things about ourselves. We've been programmed over the years by different people at different times with all the negativity that we hear every day, we've been programmed to believe negatively, to believe that we're not good enough, we believe we're not quite it, you know, we've been programmed, uh, women especially, you know, that we have to look a certain way to fit in, we have to be a certain weight, a certain shape, we have to be a certain color, we have to be blonde, we have to have a tan, we have to be dark. You know, we've been programmed um, to believe that we cannot be all that we have been um, designed to be and all that we have, it's so much in potential in us. And so we've come to believe that. And like I said, we, we're, we're surrounded with all these negative voices speaking to our lives. And so the way the um, affirmation principle works is that you now take charge. And you say, you know, even though I may not be able to afford a motivational coach or a motivational speaker or work with someone who will cheer me on, even though I may not have all the positive encouragement around me, I will be that positive voice to myself, you know. And so affirmation principle is all about affirming yourself, speaking positively about yourself, speaking positively about your future, aligning your words with who God has designed you to be, with what God says you are. You see, what man is saying, what our society may be saying about you and I may be fact but it's not truth. It may be fact, but it's not truth. I'll take it again. What we are hearing, you know, the voice that are speaking to us, okay, they may be speaking fact, but they are not speaking truth. Facts can change. It may be a fact that you're broke, bust, and <laughs> broke, busted, and disgusted today. It may be a fact that you are, you know, you're overweight. It may be a fact that you're poor, but the truth is that you have potential, you have power to be rich, you have the ability to be successful. That is truth. That is truth. So you begin to affirm, use your words to affirm and align yourself with what really is truth, okay? And truth is that there is greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Truth is that you can do all things. You can really do all things, you know, through Christ who strengthens you. That is truth. Truth is that you're the head and not the tail. Truth is that you can achieve all things. Truth is that you have the power of God working on the inside of you. That is truth, okay? 
And so you begin to speak to yourself. You be that positive voice and start speaking positively about your future. Stop that um, um, negative talk and that um, gloom and doom talk. Stop, stop, stop all that negativity and stop saying, I can't, I cannot do it. I'll not amount to anything. Things are so bad. I'll never make it. You know what happens when you keep doing that over and over and over again? You start believing that. Okay, because you keep hearing yourself saying the same things and you keep hearing everybody around you saying all those things that you are not and then you believe it. It becomes ingrained in your subconscious. And so at the end of the day, you become that, prod, that thing because as you think in your heart, so you are. Okay, so you know, you need to now change. You want to change your thought pattern. pattern okay, you want to change your thoughts then you want to also change the words that you're speaking. You want to change the words that you're also exposing yourself to. You know, that's another thing about affirmation principle. So that not only are you speaking positively into your own life, if there's nobody else to do it, you also tune out all negative voices. You know, some around of us are so surrounded by negativity, you know, and we, we, we open up our ears to all that negativity and we wonder why we're so fearful, you know, where we're, where, why we're so limited and why we cannot step out to become all that we have been designed to be, you know, because we have allowed our ears to pick up all those negativity. So the next, what, the, the other thing you do with the affirmation principle is you tune out all the negative and you invest in, you know, positive in, inspirational um, programs and CDs like Inspired Success, you know, tune in regularly. Um, you know, if your budget permits, you know, work with a motivational coach like Princess Bola, you know, and, and, you know, you need to just begin to surround yourself with positive voices because the more you hear about what you are, the truth about what you are, it sets you free and you can really become Actually, that. That is the way that um, the affirmation principle works. The other way that the affirmation principle works is that words, I need us to understand that words are not just empty words. People say empty words. or oh, words are just empty words. It's just words. No. Words are powerful. Words contain creative power. Word is spirit. Word is life. Okay. And so the danger of now kind of, um, and words are seed. And so the danger of just speaking negatively and speaking, you know, um, you know, yes, negatively and just anyhow to yourself or even over somebody else is that those words you release, the moment you release the word, it goes as a seed. It goes, like I said, it has creative power. And everything in the universe, everything in this planet begins to line itself up with that word that you have re released, okay? And so if you release negative words about your future, you release negative words about, about your, you, you release negative words about your business, about your success, or about your relationship, or even about your children, everything in the universe will align. And the results will be that you get a big mighty harvest of negativity. Really, the words just become what they call a self-fulfilling prophecy. That's it. And the same works in the, in the converse, in the, in the reverse, okay? If you speak positive words, if you say, you know, how great you are, how you're going to succeed, how you're an overcomer, how you're an achiever, how you're strong, how you're blessed, how you're favored. If you speak all of that, regardless of how, what the facts are, remember facts are one thing, truth is another thing. Regardless of how, what the facts are, the facts may be saying you're broke, but the truth is that you declare that I'm rich. You know, and when you begin to release all of that, the way it works is that everything else I will also align itself, you know, and would make that those words come to pass, and you reap a, 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 a positive harvest of good, good, good things and blessings in your life. So you know, th this this is how the affirmation works, and this is how powerful and why how powerful words are and why it is so, so important that, number one, 
we don't speak negatively into people. You know, we don't allow people to speak negatively to us. I am very protective of what I call my ear and my eye gate. I am extremely protective and very selective about who I'm listening to, what I allow to go in through my ears. I call it my ear gate. I'm extremely selective. And the moment anybody attempts to speak any word that's negative to me, immediately, you know, I change it. And I tell them, mm -mm, no, 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 that's not truth. <laughs> I recognize the lie. I say, that's not truth. No, 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 I'm not that. I am this, I am that, because I know who I am. I know who God designed me to be, okay? So, you know, that is the same attitude I want us to be having from this day, especially in these tough economic times, you know. Many of us have just sentenced ourselves to doom be through the words that we've spoken to ourselves. We just say, we'll never amount to anything. I'll never get a job in this economy. Oh, I've been to a million in for a million interviews and I'll never make it, you know. And oh gosh, that, there goes another one. You know, I just know, I'm just wasting my time. I'm just trying, but I've given up hope. Then, you know, at the end of the day, you've said that over and over again to yourself. So then what happens is it's in your subconscious. You go for that interview and all your negativity will be oozing out <laughs> to whoever is interviewing you. At the end of the day, you will not get the job. And then you say, you see, I told you so. Yes, you prophesied it and you got what you said. So, you know, I want us to really begin to watch out, you know, back to my question. What have you been saying about you? What have you been saying about your future? What have you been saying about your finances, you know? And even if we take that even broader, what have you been saying about your relationship, about your children, you know? It's time to start aligning our words with what would like our future to be like. So really, that's it in a nutshell. That's how the affirmation principle operates because I need us to understand it, you know, because what we don't know, we don't value. And what we don't value, we abuse. Many times we are just taught and being taught, oh, you know, say, speak positively. You know, words have creative power, but people don't let us really understand how this operates, you know. And the way it operates is that you begin to reinforce certain truths, you know. And initially, when you start practicing and applying this, applying this principle, it will be, it'll seem a little fake, you know, you feel a little phony, you know, sitting there and saying all these positive things about yourself, even though, you know, the facts are different, you know, are contrary, you know, it may seem a little fake, but if you persist and you do it regularly, after a while, you will start actually believing it. You know, it won't seem so fake anymore. And it will show in your attitude, you know, the, your energy, your enthusiasm, it will show because you believe that about yourself. And like, um, you know, like I said, everything else also in, the, in, in this universe will begin to align itself, you know, to that positive energy that you're releasing. And obviously the, the, the end result is that you would end up getting what you say. So now you know how it operates. I'm, I'm really hoping that, you know, in 2.10 especially, enough of all those negative words, okay? You know, you're too blessed to be stressed, right? You are great, okay? You're lifted. You're the head. You're the tail. You're an overcomer. You're more than a conqueror. You're a survivor. So put on a, sm your, your, a smile on your face. Square your shoulders. Put on your winning attitude, you know, and go out and succeed in 210, you know, with that, without belief, without faith, you know, we'll be talking more about that, like I said, next month. So that's our broadcast in a nutshell for today. I know that a lot of valuable um, information has been passed across. I just wanted to um, remind us that this month of February, the earlier scheduled launching, official launching of Inspire Success has been moved and it's now going to take place on June the 5th. It's on the agenda for the Total Woman Conference. Okay, you better save that date now. You do not want to meet that, miss that event. The 2010 Total Woman Conference is coming up on Saturday, June 5th at the Connecticut Expo Center in downtown Hartford. And um, the launching of Inspired Success that was scheduled for February, like I said, is now on the agenda. It will take place during the conference. Okay, so I look forward to um, really seeing you there. 
And this is uh, Princess Bola Adelani, the total success coach, reminding you to keep smiling, keep believing, keep learning, keep networking. You're on the winning side. I'll see you next month as we'll be looking at another spiritual principle of financial success. We're going to be talking about our beliefs. We're going to talk about how our beliefs about money, you know, really influence uh, our, our relationship with money and our financial success. And invite somebody to tune in. Thank you so much. God bless. Bye-bye.